Looks like the Dutch know that there's opportunity in the Philippine Navy and Philippine Coast Guard in terms of shipbuilding activities as part of the PN's Horizon 3 and PCG's modernization programs. Dutch Ambassador to the Philippines Marielle Gerats made a courtesy call to Defense Sec. Gilbert Teodoro on 2 October 2023 to propose for stronger naval industry ties and collaboration. The Netherlands' top naval shipbuilder Damon is among the few naval shipbuilders that is very open to technology transfer and local construction of ships as seen in their recent projects in Indonesia, Mexico, and Colombia. Damon failed to win in the Philippine Navy's Corvette and OPV acquisition projects which was won by South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries. According to our sources from the international shipbuilding industry, Damon was shortlisted against HHI and was poised to win the Corvette project, but the DND and PN removed the requirement for one of the ships to be built locally which was their trump against HHI. Damon offered the Sigma 10514 for the Corvette acquisition project. Damon already has a partner shipyard in the Philippines which would be participating in shipbuilding if Damon wins a project. Their latest Sigma designs, the Sigma 11515 and 12516 are among the sleekest in the global market. Design, features, and accommodation of Sigma 10514 Pakistani rupees Sigma 10514 PKR's hull structure is made using Grade A A36 shipbuilding steel. The ship is 105.11 meters long, 14.2 meters wide, and has a displacement of approximately 2,365 t. The fully air-conditioned cabin accommodates 100 crew members and 20 additional officers. An integrated bridge console, which is equipped with an electronic chart display and information system ECDIS, provides all-around visibility and safe operation. The ship features a helicopter hangar and an aft flight deck with a stern fueling capabilities to hold and operate a 10-ton helicopter during the day and night. It can carry two rigid-hulled inflatable boats RHIBs, for patrol and transport operations. Weaponry and countermeasures on board the frigate The guided missile frigate is armed with a close-in weapon system, a 76mm medium-caliber gun, two SSM launchers, and a 12-cell vertical launch short-range air defense system, BLSHORADS. Two triple torpedo launchers are provided for anti-submarine warfare. The ship is also equipped with guided missile systems and gun systems for anti-air warfare as well as anti-surface warfare operations. Its countermeasure capabilities include two decoys or chaff, Electronic Support Measures ESM, and Electronic Countermeasures ECM. The Sigma 10514 Pakistani Rupees incorporates the STIR 1.2 MK2 Electro-Optical EO, Fire Control System, Identification Friend or Foe IFF, Kinklip Hull Mounted Sonar, Smart SMK2 3D Multi-Beam Surveillance, and Target Indication Radar. Frigates also feature a Link-Y Datalink, an integrated internal and external communication system, and extensive air, surface, and subsurface surveillance capabilities. The onboard tactics combat management system designed by Thales integrates the ship's sensors, weapons, and other equipment to provide real-time situational awareness. The frigate's nautical equipment includes two radars, Global Maritime Distress and Safety System A3, 
GMD SSA-3, and a reference Euro. Propulsion of the guided missile frigate The combined diesel or electric Kodo, propulsion system consists of two 10,000 kW maximum continuous rating MCR, diesel engines, two 1,300 kW electric motors, two double input and single output gearboxes, and two 3.55 meters controllable pitch propellers. Auxiliary units include six 715 kWe generator sets, a 180 kWe emergency generator set, two redundant distribution chilled water systems, and a degaussing and firefighting system with four main and one service pump. The Sigma 10514 Pakistani Rupees guided missile frigate has a speed of 28 k. It can sail up to a range of 5,000 nanometers at 14 k speed and endure for 20 days at sea.